Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, I've received an email from Arlette and one of her questions that she asks is, do I always use my spidey senses? And she actually says, do I have to flip the switch and turn it on and off? The answer there is, oh heck yes. Yes, I have spidey senses, which we call our intu intuition. It's called our spidey sense. Okay, I call it my spidey sense. The other thing is, do I ever have to turn it on and off? Yes, I do. Okay, classic example. Whenever I go into a shopping center, I feel, because I'm an empath, I feel all the energies coming to me from everybody else. Okay. Some days it's like 10,000 radio channels going through my head. I can hear all the different voices. I can hear all the different emotions. Now, note I just said I can hear the emotions because this is that oneness, that connection that comes when we use our spidey senses, okay? So some days for me it is really bad walking into shopping centers, etc., where there's people gathered. So what do I do to stop this is that I make the clear consent, turn it off. And then I make the clear consent when to turn it on. Okay. As soon as we give ourselves consent, we can have this. Okay. So that's what I want to talk about today. How do we flip that switch and turn it on and off? And it's all to do with free will and consent, okay? So whenever I go to my shopping center, the first thing as I'm even driving down the road to get there, I put out the intention, which is a thought, okay? It's a thought that I want to create is our intention, right? So, or my motive, the reason, okay? So when I'm driving down the road, I say... I would like a close car park to the door. And most times when I have that intention that I'm creating through my mind, I get to the shopping center, I drive in, it's a double layered car park, you can go up a ramp and park up the top. But most times when I go there, only within about five car parks from the front door, someone will be reversing out so I can go straight in. Okay, this stuff works. So try this one straight away. Okay, this is one of your first like practices of how to do your spidey senses. Okay, so you put out that intention. I want a close car park. Okay, and see if there is one when you get there. Because with our spidey senses, it all comes down to confirmations. So what are confirmations? That's when we get the proof that what we thought came true, okay? So try it yourself, okay? That's one of the things that I do when I go up to the local shops, okay? It's a big plaza, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars can park there. I think it's got about 3,000 car parks, okay? So it's a big one. So do I always use my spidey sensors? No. I have to stop it, okay? So how do I stop it? When I get out of my car, which is generally just a few paces away from the front door, as I'm walking across the road to go into the big double slidey doors to let me access, I put up, one, I put up my protection, which is my big Captain America shield, okay? It's made of titanium, vibranium, I should say. It does not exist. Captain America's shield does not exist. But because I've seen it in the Captain America movies and I've seen where Peggy shoots at the shield and it reflects and I've also seen Thor's hammer come down on it and how it repels that um, thunder and lightning back off it. That's what I now create. So I put this vibranium shield all the way around me. So their energies from any external sources can't come in so I all I do in my head is I say shield up 
And as soon as I do that, I imagine this big shield all the way around me. Shields up. And that's how I turn off my spidey senses. So no one else's energies can come in. As I leave the shops, I say shields down and they disappear. So then my spidey senses can now work again. Okay. So try it yourself. Okay. Whatever you want to be your shield. Some people build up igloos around themselves with big bricks of white ice some people use bricks and mortar some people have shields of um, steel some people put up eggs or bubbles around them so you imagine this huge egg around you so this is how we do our protections to stop things coming in okay because some days for me it's like 10,000 radio channels all coming in at the same time into my head okay um, classic example just the other day I was sitting outside having a coffee and as I'm sitting there I'm hearing three sirens now they weren't the same siren they were different sounds there was two making the same noise and one doing something else and I thought whoa that's going straight through my head this side these sirens there was three sirens going woo, 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 through my head so I thought, whoa, turn it off. So all I have to do to turn it off is say, shields up, right? Shields up, protect me from this. So then all these sirens in my head stopped. And it would have been about two to three minutes later, I heard them coming Ooh, off in the distance. So I thought, I'm going to see. So I went out into my front yard because in my front yard I've got a little walkway that shows the main road. So I sit at my front door, front, my front yard, and I can see down through the walkway uh, to the major road. And as these sirens were coming up, two were ambulances and one was a police car. So there you go. There's that confirmation that all these noises in my head, minutes before they even came, was true so that's what we want this is why we say start a diary so in your diary you write down the time you write down the date you write down obviously what happened i'm having these sirens going through my head blaring giving me a headache Woo -woo, two sirens plus another type of siren okay then you say what the confirmation was so some people use it as two different um let me just start it here. I'll get out a pen and paper to give you some clarification. Okay. Let me just grab a pen. Uh, I need a pen. Okay. I'll use one of these bigger pens. Okay. Yep. My other pen's not here. Okay. So when you do your diary. Okay. Uh, let me just get out my big black pen. So on a piece of paper. It's as simple as doing this. Okay. So what you do is you do the time, the date at the top, time and date. You write down your story. Okay. I also like to tell people, write down your emotions at that time. How are you feeling? What time of the day was it? Okay. Write it all down. Were you in a happy mood? Were you upset? Were you angry? Okay. So then a couple of days later, this thing that whatever happened with spidey sense, it may come true so then on this side of your paper you can write down okay it happened at three it, you know the time might be 3 p.m. and it might be a Tuesday and then the more that you do these time date so you get this list where it's a time date with what happened time date what happened time date what happened so then the next week you say, hey, this one came true. And so you write it down. What happened? So with the ambulances where I was saying, oh, yeah, two ambulance, blah, blah, blah. You can say here, five minutes later, I saw the ambulances come. Okay. So then what you can do, you can work out if the time is significant. You can work out if the date is significant. You can work out if it was something that you heard or you dreamt it or whether you just had that knowing okay and down the bottom if you do write your emotions in there at that time I was happy 
So then you can go into all your confirmations and say, oh my God, I was happy that day, I was happy that day, I was happy that day. So maybe when I'm happy, my senses, my spidey senses are working. Okay? So that's how we journal. It's not just saying, I had a, um, I had a dream where this all happened. Right? You've got to say, what time of the night? What was it? What sort of mood were you in before you went to sleep? Okay? So then you can work it out and psychoanalyze if it's something that only happens when you're sad. Are your spidey senses only something when you're in a really good mood? Okay? Is it something that only happens when you're around a certain person? Because you may be even picking up on their energies, right? See? So you've got to counter all these, counter in all these different external sources and forces, <coughs> sources and forces, because forces is energies, right? Sources is objects, forces is energy. So you're working out, is it at this particular time of day when my ESP plays up? Is it when I'm in this mood, my ESP plays up? Am I around these people when it plays up? So we can look for those commonalities so that we know how to create it more, okay? Obviously, if your ESP plays up when you're in a sad mood, that's where you can say, okay, then what was making me sad? Are you always thinking about your poor cat that died? Okay, was it something about your ex-partner? Because it could be their energy that's coming in at that point where you're getting this ESP coming in, okay? So we've got to weigh up all the factors, okay? So to answer Arlette's questions, do I flip a switch? <laughs> Hello, every single day I have to flip the switch, okay? Before I go to bed, I like doing my gratification affirmations. I always say five things that I'm grateful for happening that day, even the bad stuff. And then when I've finished that, I do all my prayers. Okay, so it'll be things like, thank you so much that I was delayed going out today because when I got to the shops, this happened. Okay, so we're always appreciative of even the bad things that go on. Then I do my morning, my evening prayers where I give hope and praise to um, people who reach out to me that want prayers. I pray for relatives that may be sick or, or friends that may be sick or struggling with job or looking for a job or something happened with their pets. So I pray for all those things and then I give them the thanks of God while I'm still praying. Thank you so much for allowing me to be who I am. Thank you so much for giving me that trust, giving me that insight so I trust you impeccably and that I love you so much. Thank you. All I want to say tonight is my thanks to you. I want you in the external universal source, heaven, whatever you want to call it. I want you to feel how appreciative I am, how grateful I am, how much love I have for you. For today, I ask for nothing. So I am going to do a what is prayer video. So that'll explain that one a bit more with what I do. Okay. All right. So do I always use my spidey senses? <laughs> if I don't turn it off, they're always on now. She talks to me. Oh God. I, I, I some days I don't think she turns off at all. Okay. She's always that aware with me. Okay. Yeah, so I don't usually turn her off, but I do have to turn off the emotions of external sources and forces, okay? A source is an object that can give us energy, and the force is the energy that's actually coming from that source, okay? So I do have to turn off the sources and forces occasionally, okay? All right, so do I always see spirit guides and auras around people generally i only see spirit guides if that person has given me consent to do it for them it's not like i sit there and think oh my god there's a cute man sitting over there let's see what his spirit guide is no i do not ever do that without that person's consent because that spirit guide is associated to only that person i do not have a need to want to see the spirit guide, okay? Even if it was a man that I was dating, going out with, living with or married to or having any sort of other relationship with, it's none of my business at the end of the day, 
okay unless that person gives me permission to do it for them so yes i do not see spirit guides um, um i take my ego out of that equation okay it's not about me it's the spirit guides are always for other people okay so do i always see auras well funny thing i do okay auras is just the energy emitting out of somebody and it's to the point i will show you ha i went over to bunnings which is like a huge hardware shop here in australia and in their paint section i actually got all their paint samples so look how thick it is of all the different paint samples there's three colors per sheet okay so obviously i do see auras around people so it is cool when i say oh my god you've got this beautiful purple today so i can go through all the different purples and show them what color they are so i actually let them know like this one here is purple folly so people um, can see what colors they've got they can google it and find it out and also google what that color represents okay because we all get our own um, interpretation of it all right so I hope that that helps and clarifies some stuff today, guys. I do not see spirit guides without consent, okay? Um, they, I've never had one yet that said, no, I'm not coming through. So that's a good one. So if you do want to see your spirit guide, please contact me. There's a link where you can buy it because it is a lot of energy to do it. So I do charge for that. It's on my website, www.lindaray.info. The link is below in the description if you want to um book one of those services okay so a lot of people do like to know what their spirit guides is right um do i always see auras yes um i can turn it off but generally i can walk into a shopping center and it's just blue around here orange around her greens and purples and oranges so i love it i love what i do guys um do i have this flip switch yes I desperately needed that flip switch and as I said guys it's just our intention if we decide not to have it the universe generally agrees to it okay so that's um, how I just I just say like shield up and shields down okay that's because it's our intention so as soon as I say shields up that's all I've got to do now I'm protected and as soon as I say shields down let me see what's out there do, 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 do. <laughs> it all starts happening for me okay so I hope that that explains some stuff for you today thank you to Arlette if you do have a video I'm um, a question about heaven psychic abilities spirit guides auras angels ghosts spirits whatever paranormal please know I, I don't call myself as an expert at this but damn I've done a lot of research over the decades towards it okay so I hope that that's answered some questions today and I'll talk to you all again soon bye to learn more about your solistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe to purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.